Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. When Teresa Budonel woke up to take her 14-year-old son, Rogelio Lapido, for a checkup at Public Health with visiting doctors from Shriners Hospital in Honolulu, she didn't expect to run into Governor Lou Leon Guerrero. After thanking more staff, the Magahaga and Segundo Magalahi, Josh Tenorio, said goodbye to Rogelio. Only 14 years old, he suffers from epilepsy. His mother visits public health to provide him needed care. Every time I come here, they're all friendly here. And they're, they're fast. It feels good to meet her. Thank you was the message from the governor to other staff across departments. Though these health professionals also voiced a list of issues that pose challenges to their work. You saw it, we went around prevention, cancer, diabetes, um, even on the uh, financial part, the health insurance part, Medicaid, MIP, uh, compliance, environmental uh, inspectors, all for the purpose of assuring the safety of our public. Of course, there's a lot of resources that need to be pumped in. Uh, staffing is a big issue. I'm very concerned that our community health nursing program is down to only three nurses. As a state department mandated to provide care to all, regardless if the patient can pay, the governor is eyeing billing as a source of revenue. For, we're not able to uh, bill here. Oh, you're not? not allowed. No. Just this is a state agency. This is different. Yeah. So we don't well, we need here. to look at that. Though federal grants often prevent the department from charging, she thinks there are ways to charge a fee for testing at the lab. But if other uh, islands or other clinics, I think, access the services here, I think we should look into uh, billing for those services. At the end of the day, she wants to find the resources for public health to focus on prevention. I think we need to focus. We need to refocus our uh, attitude about health care. I know our administration is focused on prevention because we feel that if we have a good prevention program in our community, diseases are decreased, causes decreased, longevity of life is increased, and the overall quality of life, I think, is enhanced to increase the quality of life for all patients, like Teresa's son, Rogelio. More work and then more assistance for those people who need assistance. Reporting for Guamzee's Network, I'm Carmen Victoria Terlahi. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.